Welcome to Pretty Lies and Alibis. Join us as we seek the truth and travel the long road to justice. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to hop on and cover a missing persons case that we were just made aware of today. Um, his name is Dylan Rounds. He is a 19-year-old from Lucent, Utah, and that's in Box Elder County. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall, 160 pounds, brown hair and brown eyes. He's pictured here on YouTube if you are watching us there. If not, we have put this out on all of our social media. Please take a look. So he was last seen at the Saddle Sore Bar in Montello, Nevada on May 28th. That's about 30 miles west from his home, and his parents actually live in Idaho. And Dylan lives in a camper, and his dad said that he moved from Idaho to Lucen to chase his dream of being a farmer. He had actually dug a pond on this property with hopes of stocking it with fish and planting trees around it. The area looks really desolate where he lives, but I have to say I was so impressed just um, a 19-year-old kid who wanted to go out and be a farmer just says a lot about his character. And one of Dylan's last conversations with his dad was how excited he was about a crop he had just planted. And his dad said he knows he did not willingly leave. So what do we know so far? This is something that was sent to me that came from family that they want to put out there on podcast social media. Uh, we know his tractors and his vehicles are accounted for. This is where it gets a little weird. His maroon colored four by four was found parked on the farm and had been freshly pressure washed on the outside and also in the bed of that truck. There have been thunderstorms in the area the day before, so the truck would have had mud on it. And was the truck pressure washed on the farm where it was found? That's kind of what it looks like. Also, on the ground, the truck seems to have been pressure washed where there were no tire tracks or footprints. And there was a trail of water that had drained from the bed of the truck. So when, when Dylan's mom got in the truck, the seat was too far forward. And at five foot 10, Dylan would not have been able to drive the truck that way. Additionally, the car was in four by four mode. So this is a big clue to Dylan's parents because Dylan, they don't think Dylan was the last person to drive this truck. The reason is that pickup had recently had the transmission rebuilt and the transfer case was not working properly, nor had it been for a while. And Dylan knew this was not working, so he would not have put that in 4x4 mode. His boots were found behind a dirt pile about five miles west of the farm on May 30th. So Box Elder Sheriff's Office took possession of the boots, which were then turned over to detectives. The detective said they did find a drop of blood on one of the boots, but here's what confuses me. The boots were not sent to the lab until June 6, which is a full seven days after they were found. And family says the Elko County Sheriff's Office only showed up once, and that was when his mother called 911 after getting a tip that Dylan was being held in Montello, Nevada, um, in a home, and the family said they were prepared to take matters into their own hands. They say they haven't heard from the sheriff's office since. Now, there was a search last week by land and air with no results. And the box elder sheriff's office called off the search after saying there was no sign of him in the three by five mile area that they did search. So his boots were found actually five miles west of his camper. And his dad said he would never forget the look on Dylan's mother's face when she saw the boots. Fox 13 reached out to the Box County Sheriff's Office and the Elko County Sheriff's Office. And from the last time that I read, they had not been back in touch with Fox 13. Now, Dylan's parents have offered a reward of $20,000. And his dad said that $20,000 is burning a hole in his pocket and he wants to spend it today, meaning he wants his son back. So we have... All of this posted on our social media. There is a $20,000 reward. Additionally, if you have any tips, you can call those in at the Box Elder County Sheriff's Office at area code 435-723-5227. Or 
if you don't want to call, you can email tips into find Dylan rounds. That's F I N D D Y L A N R O U N D S at gmail.com. We're going to keep an eye on this and let you know of any updates. We just wanted to get the story out. Please share this video. Um, anything helps. You never know. Somebody knows something. So let's see. Hopefully in the next uh, day or so, we get s some news about Dylan. In the meantime, we are thinking about his family and um, are hoping for the best.